All right, y'all, so I keep trying to start a video and I can't never remember what time it is. So let me grab my phone real quick because I want to give you the specific time. It is 6.36 at night. The street lights just came on and what we about to do is, you already know, go for the perch. It's going to be calm on the water so that can slow down things kind of dramatically. But hey, it is what it is. You already know. Let's get to it. All right, fellow lady and gentlemen, fishermen, listen, this, we have we, we actually had a dilemma here. Now, the dilemma is when I went to go get some minnows, they had very little. So I went down to like, I don't even look. That's just all they was able to get me. And that's not a lot of minnows considering the kind of fishing we're doing here. So I had to get night crawlers. Now, when I come out here, there are times that night crawlers can work better than the minnows. But just as of lately, the minnows are it. So I'm a little bit on the discouraged side, but it doesn't mean we can't get any fish. We just got to throw these on the hook and try our best. But what I won't do is use the minnows first. I will use the night crawlers to reserve the bait. So let's get these on the hook and see if we can catch this one. See, there we go. I don't know what that is trying to bite my night crawlers, but that's how fast that is. We got one. All right, we starting it off fresh. Look at that off night crawlers. Thank goodness, because I told you before, y'all, I do. I, I I don't have a lot of minnows, so I want to reserve my minnows for later. So if I can start off early with the night crawlers, then that's that's a plus. Just a lot of stuff going on right now. Got to watch this stuff because these bites gonna be kind of quick. What I'm going to do though to help me out so I can see this stuff because I'm gonna bring it closer into the light because I want to be right here, right at the light where I'm gonna see, at least see my rod tip. Yep. All right, so we're gonna wait. We're gonna get that out there. All right, y'all, y'all stay tuned and let's see what other yellow perch we can catch. We got another one. Ooh, this is a good one. Off night crawlers. Okay, I can't complain, y'all. If I'm gonna get them off night crawlers, there's no need to complain. Now, like I said, sometimes they do work better than minnows. Don't get it twisted because when nothing else works, a night crawler will, and that's always a fact. The problem is, is when the minnows are so abundant and just so hot, you just kind of want to stick with that program. But hey, look at that. We got a second one. Look at that. You can't, you can't, you can't knock it. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta accept it. So good. This is good for me. This is good for me because now, like I said, I do not have to waste all my bait so soon i can just reserve it and keep keep attacking let's get it baby all right cast that back out a little pitch out there bang stay tuned you got us one captain there we go look at that yes sir look at that i noticed something man the minnows or these yellow perch, they literally swarm with the shad. I just, I can see them in the water and they're literally running with the shad. They're, like it's crazy. Got another good one right here, look at that. Now, are we up to three? Are we up to three with, without even using minnows? So I can see it's going good so far, but I do feel like it's going to slow down. But what I've noticed is, I'm gonna tell you this now, uh, you guys can't see, but when the shad is running, and you can see millions of them, you see yellow perch, literally, and I feel like they run with those shad, and it all makes sense now. It all makes sense. So the best thing to do, literally, is just hang around the school of shads and throw your bait. But let's get another night crawler on. As you can see, this is what we're doing here. And we're just gonna wait and see if we can get us on another perch. Here we go, we got another one. Come on. Oh, he was biting it, but he ain't on there. Let's look at this worm. Ooh, he robbed me, look at that. Let's try my luck with getting as many as I can to reserve as many minnows as possible.
got another one. Yes, we do. Look at that. Yes, we do. Now, I am thinking about coming up to a conclusion of, okay, I got two rigs, right? I have a rig that have two hooks and a rig with one. I'm thinking about just using the rig with one with minnows and then use the other two for night crawlers just to try to balance it out because right now I'm ready to get on a bite and they starting to bite really good. So I don't want to miss out. I want it, I want fast uh, yellow perch action. Oh, this yellow perch is bleeding a little bit, but hey, we coming out with good ones though. We not, you know what I'm saying? We coming out with good ones. And that's the whole ticket right there, look at that. That's all we want. We want good ones. All right, let's throw this back out here. Matter of fact, we're gonna do a minnow this time. On this rod, only on this rod. Now what the minnows may do is start causing us to get those jumbos. So, try to exploit all our opportunities as much as we can because we're trying to catch fish. It ain't no rocket science to this. So all we're trying to do is just catch fish. So I'm gonna hook them right down the back. All right. Right there. All right, y'all. Got a really No, this is definitely a whole different species. Oh my lord. Exactly what we don't want. We do not want a boy head. Boy head gotta go. Look at this. That's another thing too, man. You fish this way, them boy head will come out here and try to take that bait just like any other fish. This is why I don't like using night crawlers, just because of that thing right there. Whenever you use night crawlers, you are always prone to catch all species, dude, because night crawlers just so happen to be like the most diverse bait possible. So gets in the way so let's get that back out there let's see what we can get hopefully it won't be a bullhead this time and uh oh you're gonna bite immediately oh right now right now right now right away whoa 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 come on come on got him got him as soon as i threw that out look at that yellow perch i mean he <laughs> bit as soon as it landed Okay, I can't be mad at no bites like this. If we're gonna catch them like this, then it's all worth it. But like I said, though, that bite is starting to become like very quick. That's why I wanted to reserve. I didn't want to use all my night, my minnows fast. I, man, you know, I would have used them and I can't fish no more. That's why I just had to go get the night crawlers. Let's, let's go. We're gonna pitch it right back at the same spot. Right there and drop it in the same spot. Off the minnow. There we go. Like I said, when you use minnows, you end up getting bigger ones. As you can see, this is a really fat one. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Night crawlers on one, minnows on the other. Because if I just use minnows all out, I would just run out of this stuff right away. Ooh, look at this, look at this, look at this. Yeah, man, my, my one of the bait shops I go to, man, disappointed me. They didn't have pretty much any, and I, sh I should have went to another spot that I know would have had them, but the problem is, you know, timing is a crazy thing, man. And I didn't make it on, I didn't have a lot of time on my side to kind of like exploit all my opportunities to get the, um, the actual bait that I wanted, so Therefore, I ended up with the scraps, but these are still, but but by the way, these are good minnows though, so let's not get it twisted. These minnows are really good. Let's throw this thing right back out here and see if we can get another one. we doing what we got to do oh he got off he stole my minnow oh no he stole my minnow oh shoot all right, all right. 
throw my memo. That's not good by any means. Oh, shoot. Dude, I stole my dang old minnows. Oh, he won't get this next one. He will not thieve. Darn it. I'm sick about that, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I'm sick about that one. Yes. There we go off that minnow boy that's a big one too and what i want to do is try to reserve that minnow so i need him to stop shaking because he can rip this off yes i up his mouth look at that i'm basically catching minnows i mean yellow perch off one rod right now because i knew that the uh i already knew that the that the minnow was gonna be pretty much the the mail ticket. But you know, that's that thing where you just gotta. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. This night crawler is getting bit right now as we speak. Come on. Oh, I think he got off. Let's see. Yup, night crawlers got off. Told you the action is on right now, and I gotta be like, I gotta be quick about everything I do, see? He almost took that piece off. All right, let's get this back up here. Got one biting right now on that minnow, the one that just got bit. Come on, I'm just waiting for that rod tip to just go nuts. Okay, he on. Got him, got him, baby. Ooh, that's heavy. Whoa, this is a huge one. There you go. Look at that. See off the minnow. And he devoured that minnow. That minnow is long gone. I think it might be down his throat. So I got to get a whole new minnow in there. But look, I caught two at one. I caught two yellow perch of one minnow. That's the kind of reserving I like to do. And in other words, like I said, they will bite on them dead ones. Let's get a good one in here. Let's get a good one. Not one that's like super duper big, but one that's got some girth. This one, there we go. There we go. Because I got to use them. Anyway, I'm going to use these perch. I'm going to use these minnows anyways, regardless. All right, let's get this out here. Make sure there's no scales on the tip of that hook. Even though a minnow is small, the scales of a minnow can still cause you to not catch a fish. So always check the tip of that hook. It's common sense, you know. Let's go. All right, there we go. Got another one. There we go. Got us another one. Off the minnow. And you can see the minnows hanging right out of his mouth. Look at that. You see that minnow hanging right out of his mouth. I'm going to see if I can get this hook out of his mouth and reserve that because, like I said... I didn't have a lot of options after the, you know, what's name closed? Because I would have went and got another dozen or two. You know, we're going to use that. It's all mushy, but we're going to see if we can get him fish to bite on that. All right. That dead minnow. Is he still there? Oh, he got off. He got off of that dead minnow. Dang, I almost had another one on that same minnow. <sighs> yeah, the action is fast now. Got, um, got another one off that minnow. All right, here we go. Here we go. That's another one. Yeah, there we go. Got another one. Got him. Oh, he feels good. There we go. No, we don't want this. <laughs> Boy head. For real? They biting good right now. 
I just threw it out there. You see that? Good one. Oh, mammoth. What is this? Mammoth. Damn. Good grief. Jesus. Dude, they biting like it's non -stop. Instant, sure. Like, it's non stop, bring, bro. Bring my purchase. Bro, it's non stop. I can't even. Dude, I'm trying to. Look, I was. You see my little lure right there? I'm trying to wildlife fish. It's over with. <laughs> Just like, if this happening, you know what I mean? Jesus. I'm telling you, dude, they bite non stop, bro. I can't even. And I'm catching them. Look, you see this old mushy, messed up uh, minnow right here? Yeah. I just used the same one. It's, you know what it is? It's, it's a, it's a baby walleye. That's what it tastes like. Oh, it's so goddamn good, bro. Yeah. The yeah. difference we is. Just cooked up all my walleye. The, just, the different, the difference is, you just get these in abundance. Yeah. And you can just. I knew it. He's being finicky with it. Whoever's down. There. Oh no, I got did get him. I did get him. Whoa, I did get him. That dude was, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, he was swimming towards me with it. That's why. Stuff the dead minnow. I got a, I got still got that same dead minnow on here, and I believe I can actually catch another one with this. So on this hook, let's rehook him somewhere else, and let's see if we can make some magic happen. All right, that's how we're gonna do that. And we're gonna see if we can catch one with the same. Dead minnow. There we go. Get it out there right in that same little mid spot, right in the shadow. There we go. Let's get it. We got another one off the minnow. Man, these bites are crazy, man. I'm just loading up on them. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Well, we still got enough minnows to make it work. Like I'm least, at least I'm catching a couple on one because I don't have a lot of minnows. You gotta make everything count. These emerald shiners is like the best thing popping. Hey, looking for more content? Well, please subscribe. Also like us on Facebook. And always remember, there's nothing wrong with a lot of fishing. Thank you for watching.